know, I think that's very rude of you to come over to my table on Mother's Day. Okay. I'm going to give a, <clears throat> excuse me, um, opinion because I'm a large creative. All right. Um, I listened to the whole video, although I don't know what the point of the video was for. Because it, to me, it looked like you just trying to make her look bad. But if I may give this other side, all right? Back in September to probably January, I dealt with a very serious stalker, all right? It was so serious that now every time that I'm in public, I am on pure alarm, all right? Like I'm just very observant, who's behind me, who's... And it's so bad that somebody come running up behind me the other day very playfully, hey, Mama Titan and scared the living hell out of me. All right, scare the living hell out of me. Okay, um, we are not celebrities. We're just regular people that just happen to have a large following. All right, people follow me for many reasons, whether it's my love and kindness and advice, or whether my taster Tuesday or my funny antics with Papa Top, my husband. Um, people follow me for different reasons, and I know that they probably follow Amanda for different reasons. All right, but I have to say, had this been me. If somebody, a stranger on the, from the internet, walked up to my table on Mother's Day as I am celebrating with my family, as she was, and you said Happy Mother's Day, but then proceeded to say, well, you blocked me back in such and such, I would immediately go on alert and be alarmed by this and become defensive. There was no reason to bring that up. And I truly believe that if you would have just said Happy Mother's Day, she most likely would have turned around with a smile and said, Happy Mother's Day to you too, you know. But why bring up the fact that she blocked you? When we block people, it's for a reason. Now, I'm not saying some people don't get blocked by accident. I just had an angel somehow accidentally get blocked the other day. We have no idea why. Um, so that can happen. But if somebody has blocked, that means they don't want you in their personal space. They don't want you in the, their community, their comment section. They don't want you around. So, for you to immediately bring that up, you are definitely going to get a defensive reaction. I probably wouldn't have been, I probably would have been meaner than Auntie Amanda. I'd have been like, excuse you? At the dinner table with my family? Well, now I see why I blocked you. That's, that's honest to God. I'm being serious right now. I love you till the day I die, honey. But one thing you're not going to do is cross over my boundaries and me and my family. Or, or do anything. Like, I am going to stick up for myself when time comes. And Amanda should too. And I'm on her side. I'm on her side. Again, no hate to you. Just, I just don't understand how, how you, you're not seeing that that, that went south because of what you said. 